What we're going to have a look at here today is my latest project, the Overcenter Clutch. Now this is a clutch that I designed and built. It's a cone clutch and it can be driven directly as you see by the drive shaft and universals and it can have a direct drive output or it can have a chain or a belt output. It could have a chain or a belt input as well. Uh, the nice thing about this clutch, it will not slip in or out of gear. It's a very positive action. It holds itself either out of gear or in gear depending on what you selected and you don't get any surprises when you're running it having things jumping out of gear. The, uh, there's absolutely no unwanted creep between the input and the output shaft. It's either engaged or disengaged and there's not the issue I've had with other clutches of the output creeping even though the clutch was not engaged. So I'm going to start the small gas engine which is one I built a few years ago and then we'll give a demonstration of the clutch being engaged and disengaged. So the engine is running, the two universals in the drive shaft are giving an input to the clutch, and now I'm going to engage the clutch. And you can see that with the clutch engaged, I'm getting power out of the output side to that pair of sprockets, and now I'm going to disengage it again, and as soon as I disengage it, all of the movement on the output end stops. I'm quite happy with this. It does everything that I had hoped it would do when I designed it. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration and that's really all I've had to talk about today. Thanks for looking.